A few weeks ago, I made a game that learned how to play itself using a reinforcement learning. It was a very fun project and I decided to push this concept a little bit further by completely disconnecting the robot from the game and have it playing by only looking at the screen. Pretty much like a real player would do. So this is what I came up with and I will show you how I got there. The first step was to create a stand for the camera. Here you can see how everything fits together. I had a lot of fun designing it after one of my favorite video game character. And I decided to reuse the controlling arm mechanism from my previous project. The following step was to create a really simple game. The goal is simply to put the portal over the cake. Of course, as you manage this, the game resets. Everybody knows the cake is a lie. As I had no experience with computer vision, I thought I could teach the robot how to play the game using image classification, as it is pretty easy to achieve using the TensorFlow library. Image classification is the task of predicting what an image represents. An image classification model is trained to recognize various classes of images. Here, because the game is so simple, I had the idea of classifying images of the game into different joystick positions. This game is played using only one joystick. This means I could predefine a nine joystick position, center, left, left up, up, right up, right, and so on. From there, it's quite easy to see what image belongs to which class. For example, this image should be classified as up, this one as right down, and this one as center. I also added a class to detect when text is displayed on the screen as this happens between games. Image classification training requires a lot of labeled images. Collecting a lot of images can be very time consuming, so I decided to generate synthetic data, basically CG images of the game. I decided to use Unity to make them. And within a few hours, I ended up with half a million images like this one. The noise in the background was added in the hope that it would teach the model to ignore it. I then started training the model and after another few hours, it was able to predict the class of other synthetic images with around 90% accuracy. Unfortunately, this didn't translate well to real images of the game. I think I tried cutting corners a little bit too much, my data was just way too simplistic and didn't represent real world conditions. At this point, I could have tried spending a few more hours trying to improve my synthetic data, but I was just not sure I would be able to take it to a decent quality. So I gave up the idea and decided to collect real images instead. For this, I made a slightly modified version of the game and wrote a script allowing my laptop webcam to capture images of the game and label them properly. After letting it run for a while, I ended up with about 25,000 images. I then trained a few different networks with different parameters and ended up with a model about 92% accurate on real world images. It was time to put it to the test and I think it did okay. And because it learned how to play from images, it is quite interesting to see that it can play from different positions as long as it can see the screen. The major issue using image classification in this case is that there is no gradual joystick input. This means that if the portal is set to move too fast, it constantly overshoot the target and then overcorrect, which gets it stuck orbiting around the target. In conclusion, the solution found here was definitely not optimal and I hope I will be able to improve this project as I learn new techniques. It was still fun to work on. Thanks for watching and bye bye.